Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we are diving into the exciting world of DevOps and charting a roadmap for 2024. DevOps has been reshaping the way software development and IT operations work together and staying up to date with the latest trends and practices is crucial. Whether you are seasoned DevOps pro or just getting started, this roadmap will provide valuable insights into what to expect and how to navigate the evolving landscape of DevOps in the coming years. And before we begin, if you are someone who is interested in building a career in DevOps by graduating from the best universities or a professional who elicits to switch careers with DevOps by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to simply learn Scaltech postgraduate program in DevOps that is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners. This course requires just a bachelor degree with a 50% average and no prior programming experience or work history needed. The course link is mentioned in the description box below that will navigate you to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like and press on the bell icon to never miss on future content. Now starting with what is a DevOps engineer? A DevOps engineer is an IT professional who has an in-depth understanding of the software development lifecycle. They need to understand why the organization have to move from one model to the other the shortcomings of the previous model and the benefits of the new model and so on. A DevOps engineer also must know how to use various automation tools for developing continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines. This demand position requires a special set of DevOps skill which we'll explore more in depth later. And now moving on to career paths of DevOps engineer or a DevOps professional. So you could be a DevOps architect or automation engineer or software tester or integration specialist or security engineer or release manager. So these are the roles a DevOps professional can play on or these are the roles that you can apply for. So moving on, now we'll see the career roadmap for DevOps engineer. So starting with programming languages, then source code management, application building, automation with CI CD tool, application testing, application deployment, monitor application and cloud providers. So these are the 8 steps you need to follow for a career roadmap for DevOps engineer. So DevOps engineer should be proficient in various programming languages. So we'll start with number 1 that is programming languages. So they should be proficient in various programming languages to write scripts and automation code for configuring and managing infrastructure as well as for customizing CI CD pipelines. So these are the programming languages, the skills that needs to be with DevOps engineer. Now moving on to the second skill that is source code management. So this involves using version control systems example kit to manage source code efficiently. DevOps engineers ensure that code changes are tracked, organized and accessible to the deployment and operations team. Moving on to the third one that is application building. So DevOps engineers are responsible for automating the build process. They configure build tools and scripts to compile source code into executable artifacts making it ready for deployment. And then comes the automation with CI CD tool. That is continuous integration or continuous deployment is a core DevOps practice. Engineers use CI CD tools like Jenkins or GitLab CI to automate the testing and deployment of code changes, ensuring a continuous and reliable delivery pipeline. Then comes the application testing. Automated testing is crucial for maintaining code quality. DevOps engineers set up and execute various type of tests including unit, integration, regression test within the CI CD pipeline. And then comes the application deployment. Once code passes test, DevOps engineer automate its deployment to production and other environments. This step ensures consistency and reduces deployment errors. Now moving on to monitor application. So monitoring tools like Prometheus or ELK stack are used to keep an eye on application performance and infrastructure health. DevOps engineer configure alerts and dashboards to quickly identify and address issues. Then comes the cloud providers. DevOps often involves working with cloud platforms like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. Engineers select the appropriate cloud services, provision resources, using infrastructure as code, IAC and manage cloud-based infrastructure efficiently. And if I tell you in summary that DevOps roadmap encompasses the entire software development and delivery process. It begins with coding, 
and source code management followed by automated build and testing processes. Automation continues through CI CD tools for deployment, monitoring for performance and health, and leveraging cloud providers for scalability and flexibility. This end to end approach ensures rapid, reliable, and efficient software delivery. And I have an announcement for you guys that is, we offer a DevOps Engineer Master's program in collaboration with Google Cloud that is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners and it requires no programming experience or no work history needed. Our program not only equips you with the skills but also prepares you for the industry's most esteemed certifications, making you an expert in the field. You can find this course link in the description box below and the pinned comment. Now moving on to the roles and responsibility of DevOps Engineer. So DevOps Engineer play a pivotal role in modern software development and IT operations, focusing on enhancing collaboration, automation and efficiency throughout the software development lifecycle. Their roles and responsibilities include automation, that is automating manual tasks in the software development and deployment processes to improve efficiency and reduce error. Then comes the continuous integration or continuous deployment. Implementing and managing CI CD pipelines to enable automated and frequent software releases. Then comes the infrastructure as code, that is, managing infrastructure using code, allowing for the automated provisioning and configuration of resources. Then comes the collaboration, facilitating collaboration between deployment and operations teams to accelerate problem solving and innovation. Then comes the monitoring and logging. Implementing monitoring tools to track system performance, analyze logs, and ensure system availability. Then comes the security. Integrating security practices into the DevOps pipeline to identify and mitigate vulnerabilities. And then comes the release management. That is coordinating software releases, ensuring they meet quality standards, and minimizing downtime. Then comes the cloud services. Leveraging cloud platforms to enable scalability, cost efficiency, and flexibility. And then we have version control. Managing version control systems to track changes and facilitate collaboration among team members. And then the role is documentation, that is maintaining documentation for processes, configurations and best practices to ensure knowledge sharing. And the other role is problem solving, that is identifying and resolving technical challenges encountered during the development and deployment processes. And the last responsibility for a DevOps engineer is scripting and coding, that is writing scripts and code to automate tasks and create custom solutions. And now moving on to companies hiring DevOps engineer. So Amazon, Capgemini, Oracle, TCS, Accenture, SAP, IBM and Cognizant. These are the major giants who hire DevOps engineer. And now moving on to the average salary for DevOps engineer. So first we'll see the average salary in US and that is $82,000 to $128,000 for a beginner in the US. And for an experienced professional, the salary starts from $99,000 and it goes up to $200,000 per annum. And if we talk about India, the beginners get the average salary between 5 lakhs to 12 lakhs per annum. And if we talk about the experienced professionals, they get salary range from 7 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum. And there you have it, our DevOps roadmap for 2024. We have explored the key trends, tools, and skills that will shape the DevOps landscape in the near future. Now let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers by opting out the postgraduate program and the master program of DevOps. And remember, DevOps is all about continuous learning and improvement. So stay curious, adapt to changes, and keep honing your skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow DevOps enthusiasts. Thank you for tuning in and here's to a successful journey along the DevOps road in 2024 and beyond. So till then, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.